Hello, this is Eddie Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this Undecember video, I want to talk to you about guilds and how they all work and what you can do with them. Guilds in Undecember are pretty small when you first start out, but they can be leveled up to a level max of 100. In order to interact with the guild interface, when you're in town, you want to click on your little shield icon over here. This will help you navigate the city if you didn't know this. Pretty cool little thing. And you're going to click on Guild Manager, believe it or not. Once you're here at the Guild Manager, there's lots you can do. If you're not in a guild yet, I think you got to come over to uh, Recommended Guilds, and you can find one that you want to join. You can search for the name down here. And if you're trying to join our guild, it's right here. You can join. A couple slots left anyway. You can also sort by the different types. Pretty basic interface here. But what I want to talk about today is once you have found this and you have joined the guild, you can check out everything we have unlocked members guild info all that fun stuff but once you've actually joined the guild you're going to want to come over or any guild it doesn't have to just be our guild but once you've joined a guild in undecember you're going to come over to guild information and you can click on the donate button this is massive and you want to do this daily you want to donate as much gold as you can guild tokens and rubies if you can swing it Rubies level up the guild the most, I think, in my opinion. Guild tokens are obtained through breakable objects with a very low drop chance. You can also obtain these guild tokens once you've unlocked the end game in Saludo and you've unlocked daily missions. They are over here on the line rewards. You can see I'm working towards my second one for today. And if you haven't done this, hopefully in the future we'll have an end game video out. But you complete a line, kind of like tic tac toe. And then you'll unlock the reward on that side. And then you'll just turn those in. And then you also have gold as well. When you first start out, it's like 100k gold you can donate per day. But as your grade increases, so does your donation cap. And the way that you increase your grade is by donating. You start at grade one. You work your way all, all the way up to who knows what the cap is. I don't think anyone's at the cap yet. But yeah, we've got a couple grade fours in our guild. And thank you guys for help leveling the guild so much this is really important because not only does it level up the guild you also get guild coins that we'll talk about here in a second you also get contribution which will go towards your grade but you also unlock guild seals for the guild and these seals are used to activate guild buffs not only that but you can also level these buffs up as well the cost to level up goes up by a thousand per level and the cost to activate a buff goes up by 2,000 per level. We have maxed out our gold gain chance. It is level 10. They do not show you the percent of the increase on these. So it's a guessing game. But in my opinion, it does make a difference. We also, I'm not sure if it's because our guild hit level 7 yesterday or what it was. But we also unlocked a second guild buff slot. So it would be nice to eventually, you know, run as many buffs as possible, as often as possible. My one complaint with this system is the buff only lasts for six hours. So you got to kind of pick a time where the most guild members are online to run those buffs. For us, it's the evening, six to midnight. That's guild buffs for you. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about those guild coins that you can get from donating. So this is going to be the guild base that you can visit. And what's really cool about this is it's also a social hub. So if your other guild members are in there, you'll see them as well, even though you're not in a party area. The way that you access this, same way you're going to click on your shield, you're going to go to the guild manager. And you, down here on the bottom right, you're going to click on visit guild base. The guild base for now is a little bit empty, but you have a guild manager, of course. But more importantly, and what I want to talk about in the video is the guild shop. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you're finding any of this information useful, don't forget to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. There's some daily and weekly limits on the guild shop that you can buy that are definitely worth picking up. Some of these are locked behind grade levels as you can see remember grade is increases as you make donations to the guild and also some are locked behind guild levels you can see there's uh guild level five which we have unlocked and this has the weekly cap of one of these runes and what these are the unstable runes don't forget they are for synthesizing at the craft at the alchemy table and you can combine three of them to make a random skill of that grade so this would be extremely useful because there's some skills in the game that you can only get from synthesis that are rare or even magic 
And remember, you can always check this out by coming into your journal and clicking on synthesis mileage to find what exclusive skills you can get. And you can see there's only uh, just a handful of rare skills that you can get through this method. Now, I don't think it's guaranteed to get one of these skills through this method because it pulls out of the whole pool of all these skills. Could be wrong on that. Let me know down in the comments if it is literally just these skills of the three that are red, green, and blue. But yeah, that's what that's what those are for. And then you can also buy the magic grade quality. Other than that, you can come in here and you can buy star of regressions. There's a formula chest, chaos cards. These do have a daily limit for the rare chaos cards. But for me, for now, I am just buying these unstable runes and I'm trying to hit the at least the weekly buy out of these. That's pretty much it for your guild coins, guild sills, leveling your guild guild buffs everything guilds in undecember i hope you enjoyed this undecember video and if you found it useful don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel we have had a lot of new subscribers and thank you consider taking it one step further with a super thanks or maybe becoming a channel member today if you haven't joined the discord yet maybe now's the time come on over and we'd love to have a chat as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video